How many of you use a different text editor? Adam. All right, that's fine. Um, yeah, I feel the same, same way about Adam as I feel about Adam, 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 I force you to switch. It's not gonna be something really obscure. This is like things that Adam will definitely do. So I wanna make sure you're comfortable with. But your preferences are terminal and sublime text. My preferences are, yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm downloading and installing sublime right now, so. Excellent. I guess I can do it to be more cohesive with the we'll, 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 we'll get there, we'll get there. We're in the terminal right now. We're not going to text editors. It's great that you're installing it, but don't, don't worry about it for now. <laughs> Uh, I guess I'm some eager people here. I refuse to let you get out of the terminal for the next like two hours. Or so. uh, all right, let's uh, let's make a folder. We'll call that folder first. How do you make a folder? Uh, or make a or MKDR. Yeah, what's the difference between touch and MKDR? Uh, that makes makes a folder, makes a file. Good, makes a folder and makes a file. If you make a file like touch le.txt and you cd le.txt, what's going to happen? It's going to tell you it's not a directory. If you accidentally make a file instead of a folder, how do you delete a file? All right, cool. Um, how do you recover this file that you deleted? Yeah. yeah, you don't. So be really, really, really careful with this RM command. Um, be really, really careful with the RM command. There's no undoing, there's no recovering. It doesn't go to the trash, it's just completely taken off of disk. So let's make a folder, let's call it first. How do we do that? Okay. Well, we want to make a folder. I want to make a folder first. Cool. Now, every time that I make this folder first, if I want to start working in that folder first, I got to change directory into first. Um, let's go back a directory. How do we do that? Yeah, if you're feeling really lazy, you can just type in dot dot on my ZSH sketch cover. Let's get rid of that folder called first. So let's rm first. Hmm. So what's it? Uh, what's it telling me right now? Yeah. So we gotta add some flags. We can also use the rmdir command, and that'll be totally fine. But I'd like to dig a little bit deeper into what this command is doing. For those of you who've heard this already, bear with me. Hopefully, this is a review. But how do you remove a folder? This is the most lethal command you can use. All right. It's even more lethal when you add what flags? All right. You have between 1 and 26 or so options. So what do you want to go with? Do you want to go with a Z or a P? Different flags will do different things, but we're going to go with R and F. Doesn't stand for root. For root forever. <laughs> Actually, is like pretty. That's pretty clever. Okay. Uh, I think you have a, a future in terminal shortcuts and flags. It's, uh, it's the biggest compliment I've given all day. All right. Um, what do these What do these mean? Right. Let's go back to ls. If you understand what those flags mean, you're just at a different level when you're using the terminal. So, what did What did these flags mean? La. What did A do? All. All. What did L do? List. Yeah, it gave us a lot more information actually in a list. Cool. Uh, I want to delete this line. How do I do that? Control U. Control U. Cool. Awesome. So what do the R and F flags do? Well, if you want to, you can type in the man command. What does man do? Mm -hmm. Manual. Yeah, it's manual. Now, you could go through this. You can keep pressing Enter. And you can find what these flags or options actually stand for. So what does the dash F flag do? Like the full paragraph you want me to read? I'm not making you read the full paragraph. I'm asking you to it summarize. It's the option to override. OK. Without confirmation. 
So this F stands for force. Don't prompt me for anything. Regardless of the permissions, if it doesn't exist, don't, don't give me an error message, just get rid of it. That's it. That's all I want, just get it out of there. The F option overrides the previous I options. Huh, what does the I option do? The I option is your saving grace. Request confirmation <laughs> before attempting to remove each file regardless of the permissions. Why does someone who knows how to use RM not use the I flag? Yeah, you usually kind of have an idea of like, I know what I'm deleting, please don't prompt me every time to say, are you sure, are you sure, are you sure? But it's good to know. How do you get out of this, by the way? Uh, I can control C, I can also press Q. Q will get out of that. So if I type in man ls, I can get through, press enter a bunch. I can start finding information about the flags. You can see all sorts of things with ls. Hmm. Include directory entries whose names begin with a dot. Cool. All right. So we have this folder that we call first. You can use the find command to pretty easily find files and folders in a current directory. It's a nice way to see if you have something. Uh, do I have a folder called second? Shouldn't. Yeah, so it's gonna tell me no such file or directory. Saber watches a quick sanity check of do I have